and breaking news on the side from uh, S SEVP they unveil a stem hub now they are talking about how um, they are going to deal with the stem extension as you know the stem new rule passed uh, was published yesterday and today they are giving details how uh, people should apply and who and what happens to to those students uh, in the transition plan this is a big question students who have an a, an EAD uh, that lasts on the 17 month ha what happens to them well first of all as this mentioned you can continue using that EAD but if you want to benefit from the from the extension you need to comply with all the rules and also they are redefining the stem and also the form I-983 that we have mentioned in our other articles but we're going to quickly look at what they are proposing here this is the this uh, I put the link on the uh, on the department DHS website uh, where they are talking about the about this issue and uh, how to apply as from May 10 you will be able to uh, they will they will accept the, the cases but they will issue RFEs um, for those who are uh, pending on May 10. As for May 10, you will be able to apply the new one, but you, you might be able to apply earlier. But uh, technically, the there will be RFEs that will be issued if they have not approved your case uh, under the regular, well, not regular, the all 17 month, and they will ask you to basically uh, com comply with all the rules, the new rules that they have. And the request for evidence will be asking you for a certificate of el eligibility the i20 and also they will be asking the the 983 form and you need to talk to your dso about that your uh, designated uh, uh, representative uh, at the school it is very important and again if you need help we will be able to help you uh, and you will have to file the form of course i765 765 and one of the question it's almost like a frequently asked question here that they have posted it's a hub uh, what um, what happened if you withdraw your 17 month and apply for the 24 month well it's not a good idea uh, to do that honestly because if you do that you might have a chance of, of losing uh, the ability to get the extension if you don't fall under the 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 rules uh, or the new rules that uh, they have mentioned including the 983 form and all the compliance and also the 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 stem uh, extension rules that they have been proposing under the regulation and you have that on our video so let me go back to this page now let's see for for those who already have a 17 month and they will have to apply uh, for the extension for the uh, for the additional seven month to bring it to 24 month and uh, the requirements are here what what do they require of course you will have to to first this is very interesting the stem now is been kind of redefined and if you look at the list here you I open the list um, those are the codes of the, the 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 courses that will qualify under stem as you know on the previous video we made we explained that not only you have to have an accredited school that can offer stem but you have to be in one of those professions um, I mean one of those um, field then you will and the list is here on and on and you will see the link keep coming I will try my best to kind of uh, dissect those links and pass it to you or upload those documents but you can see here mathematics computer science which is something very very uh, much um, which our clients ask us all the time so first you have to qualify under the, the stem list second now you will have to have uh, this is what we call the CIP codes that they have started we have mentioned that on our on our previous video and uh, of course that now you will have to to basically meet the requirements of, of that once you meet the requirements then you move to the next step and I'm going backward here is of course the e-verify which was already there and then there will if you are in the grace period of the of the of your stem for example let's say your stem expired uh, last month which makes it within the the uh, uh, the sixty uh, the sixty day grace period, you will be able to enter that new stamp transition plan that they have here, basically where you will have you can apply on uh, on the the stamp and um, what will be the um, the consequences of that if you don't do it on time or you don't meet the requirements you will not be um, you will not be getting that additional extension. 
and we mentioned what they are looking in that new new um, new stem extension including now they're going to have a new definition of stem kind of under the CIP code uh, the 693 form and also having all the whatever is needed to basically uh, get your your um, your application going and here is a form they have already amended the form I think and uh, I went uh, it went directly on the on that and uh, so basically they will put the eligibility here and uh, you will be able to to put it I don't think they, they have amended it yet but it seems they will be amended in, in a few in a few in a few days and um, and again ladies and gentlemen there's a lot of information here on that hub I just wanted to pause the message quickly read it carefully and if you need help give us a call at 510-7425-887 we are getting the information as we go and we hope that we will be able to answer your questions and again if you go on my blog immigration legal blog I put the, I repeated the the, the article that uh, that uh, was placed by uh, the by uh, by ICE today uh, by the the DHS uh, explaining about the STEM OPT and the transition plan the training plan the students employers is pretty much have everything on this on this website but the truth is that there's so much information that it might be it might be very very tricky for students to kind of uh, look at it for example the transition plan I talked about now that I need 983 for employers is the one that is going to be interesting because employer will have to comply and uh, hopefully by the time uh, we reach um, the, the time to apply things will be a little bit more clear for the students or for the employer and again uh, employers will probably need the help of attorneys now to prepare those because it's becoming a little bit complicated if you don't comply in whatever way you will be liable especially they have this this rule of side visit and uh, for example here you have few things that they are mentioning how the, the practical training relates to the students qualifying STEM the specific goals uh, how the goals will be achieved the performance evaluation the methods of oversight this is very interesting the method of oversight this is kind of the same as the new file memo for H1B where they are talking about control and dominion and uh, and also the employer will have to prove that they have sufficient resources and they are not replacing any full-time employer employee and uh, how they can assist those students and they will have to describe the hours compensation very important compensation by the way they're not just going to allow people just to take those uh, the students on a low wage uh, they, you will have to probably do the same as an H1B but uh, let us see how things are going to 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 go uh, from there and if you if you look at it here you have this hub is awesome by the way they, they really did it well and um, it seems that government is really having a great team working on those and um, and you can determine if you if you qualify etc etc but again there will be a lot of questions that are going to be unanswered unfortunately because it's confusing the way the law is written they have the transitional period they have two kinds of, of student for one the one which have a pending case already that means they already filed for the EAD extension and it's pending and by May it will be pending and those who basically are going to pass the May but then will want an extension on that uh, 17 month and they will have to comply with all the rules unfortunately or fortunately hopefully that will help you get an idea where where the STEM extension is going and we wish all the best to the students on STEM and if you need help again, 510-7425-887. Good luck to all of you. And anything I told you today is for educational purposes.